Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dika for Dika's Adventures. Um, I'm going to be getting into a um, small soft plastic swim bait that absolutely murders bass. But before I do, I want to thank everyone who's already subscribed and shared and liked. It, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll know when I come out with a new uh, video. And everything's going good so far. Um, there is one person out there that is supporting my channel and he's putting my videos on his Facebook page. His name's Kobe. He's a 16 year old kid from Northwest um, Louisiana and he started a Facebook page in honor of his past grandfather. It's called Oscars Northwest Anglers. I'll put a picture of it right here and uh, go check it out. It's on Facebook. Support his cause and uh, he's a great kid and uh, he has aspirations of becoming an MLF angler. All right, so go check him out. All right, so now we have the Huddleston grass minnow. It's absolutely killer for bass. It is um, almost four inches long. It's three and a quarter inches, and it's a half ounce. Do not, I repeat, do not overlook this bait. Do not think it's a joke. This bait absolutely works 100%. I use it myself, and when the weather gets better, as I said, I'm in New England, I will show you how this works. So everything's iced over right now, and I am not a, a big ice fisherman at all. In fact, I'm not an ice fisherman at all. And um, I, in fact, I'm going to do uh, real field testing on all the reviews I do of all the lures. But anyway, so this is a Huddleston. So it has that Huddleston tail that it, it's famous for. Now, this is not like that big, giant, wobbly tail because it's not a big, giant, wobbly swim bait. But this tail, it's got great action. It's got a really, really tight wobble. You can pull it just a straight retrieve. You don't have to really jig it at all. You can, you can pull it through kind of fast, or you can pull it through slow. It depends on how they're hitting that day. As far as colors, there's a vast array of colors out there. And if you've seen any of my reviews already, you know that I am, uh, except for frogs, uh, I am partial to... Um, the greens and the browns and the, the blacks and the blues. Uh, if they had a white, a straight white, I would use it. I like white. I don't know what, what it is about white, but I like white. And it's kind of a shock color. I use it for worms. I use it for frogs. Um, I would use it for this if they had a straight white, but they don't. All right, so like I said, it has, has a really, really tight wobble to it. So you can, you can throw this anywhere. You can uh, work this through lily pads. You can, you can skip it right on the top of lily pads. You can slow roll it through the lily pads, or you can let it sink and keep it subsurface or even uh, down at the bottom through lily pads. You can skip this right across a mat. You know, just pull it right across a mat as if it's kind of like a frog. Um, you can throw this in um, exposed grass. If there's just a grass pile out there um, coming up out of the water, you can throw it right in the middle of there because it's completely weedless. Um, you can see, uh -oh, let me see, it's the eye of the hook, and the hook, if you can see it in the right light, you can see it, it's right there, and they just push down on this, and that hook is right in there to grab them. Um, I like to fish this through submerged grass. That's my favorite for this, especially this color. I'll throw it out there, I'll let it sink, and then I'll just slow roll it through that submerged grass, and they absolutely murder it which is great. Um, like I said, it's almost a half ounce, so you can chuck it a mile. You get it on a bait caster, you can, you can really get it out there and really cover some water, which is good for bait. Um, like, a, like a spinner bait, you can, throw, you can just throw that out and cover a lot of water. Um, ideally, you want the retrieve to be slow, but I know people who burn it through and it just, it's just got that really, really tight, tight waddle and the bass kill it. So the hook set on it. The hook set... I think it's a little different than most most other baits that I have. If it's a spinner bait, they usually nail it. If it's a worm, they hit it hard. This one, it almost gives, I call it a double bump. They'll hit it, and they'll hit it twice real quick, and you got to let them take it. And I think it's because of that exposed hook. I think sometimes you might lose a hookup if, you, if you're too eager to set that hook. You really got to let them grab it and then take it and then you really just set the hook. I use a medium action with a fast tip for this. 
just so I can get the rod to load up a little bit. And if you don't know what load up means, it means that you allow the fish to pull the rod a little bit, and then you just have that much more leverage on uh, setting the hook. But it's a great little minnow. This is a great little review. Do not overlook this. This is a bass killer. And Huddleston, Huddleston is a, it's a known name for swim baits. And I stumbled across this, and I absolutely loved it. Now, you can buy this at hudbaits.com. And you can buy it on eBay, but here's the problem, and this will probably tell you why it's so popular and it works. Most times when you go on hudbaits.com, they are sold out. Every single color is sold out. So you have to put your email in there, and they'll let you know the day that they're going to release them. It's usually once or twice a year, and then you can buy a couple of them. Um, if you are going to use them, I would suggest that you um, buy something called Mend It. Uh, just, just to save your bait. I think they're quite durable for the, for the texture. I feel that they're really soft, and you would think that they'd rip up easy, but they don't. You could catch up, upwards of 10 to 20 bass on one. But the Mend It help keep the life. So if you get the tail that's fallen off, you put a little Mend It there, and uh, it, just, it just holds it back together. Uh, there are people on eBay that are selling these for $30, $40 a piece, and people are buying them because they work. And, you know, and people, people do anything to catch fish. I will a lot of the time. Um, and I, and I, don't, I don't really do tournaments. I'll probably do a couple this year and um, go from there. But if, I just like to go out, catch fish, and have a good time. So check it out. It works. And uh, you'll see videos of me using it come, come spring and summer here in New England. Uh, Huddleston Grass Minnow. Try it. It's a good lure. All right. Be well. I want you to subscribe. Hit that bell, and I'll come up with something new uh, later in the week. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you for all your support.